think so. Now, the latest phase of a project to install closed-circuit television cameras in Birmingham city centre was unveiled today. The cameras in the Chinese quarter are capable of picking out individual faces from several hundred yards. This is a scene from a closed-circuit security camera in Birmingham city centre. Unknown to these shoppers and office workers, their every move is being monitored and watched at Steelhouse Lane Police Station. It's all part of the City Watch programme, a closed-circuit surveillance system which aims to make Birmingham a safer city. You can pick up the headlines on a paper, car numbers and things like that, and it's try to help the police reduce crime in Birmingham, make it a safer place. Today, the latest phase of the project was unveiled in the city's Chinese quarter. There are 11 cameras operating around the city. Eventually, there'll be 30. Some people object to the big brother aspect of the scheme, but women tend to be the biggest fans. We did a survey of about 300 women, and over 90% of those said they felt reassured by the presence of the City Watch cameras on the streets. The cameras are capable of zooming in on any individual face, and any videotaped footage can then be used in court as evidence. We did that the day before yesterday over a fight in New Street. The camera operator went to court, gave evidence that, uh, that this was, the video was taken of a, a fight in New Street that was accepted by the court, and indeed one of the offenders pleaded guilty as a result of that once he was faced with the evidence. Guest of honour at today's launch was actor Michael Elphick. As far as he's concerned, the cameras are a sign of the 20th century. Well, I think obviously it's got to, to the stage where they're necessary, it seems. It's a shame, but I mean, if it's going to prevent all the, the crime, then yeah, so be it. The cameras are in operation 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So the next time you're in Birmingham city centre, remember, you're being watched. Yes, if you're out and about, do smile because you're on camera. Here are the headlines. The number of people out of work is at its highest level for over five years. More than 2.9 million people were out of work last month. Individual weekly prizes of a million pounds could be won in the proposed national lottery. It's estimated the lottery could generate three billion pounds a year. And finally, the Commons was suspended today as the government announced a number of hospitals in Scotland were being granted trust status. Scottish Labour MPs forced a three-hour suspension before the House adjourned for the Christmas recess. We're taking a short recess. And of course, we'll be back at the usual time tomorrow. From Michelle, from me, very good night. Good night. Good night. Central Weather, sponsored by Legal and General. Good evening to you. Well, I hope it's a good one anyway. Guess who got caught out in the rain today? Anyway, that's all gone. We've got some unsettled and unusual climbs to look at for now. So pin your ears back because some things could get quite significantly colder by Sunday with probably more showers and even snow. First of all, the satellite, there's a pretty obvious swathe of cloud heading northeastwards across towards us, sort of tonight, tomorrow, which will definitely bring us rain tomorrow. Over in Europe, there's a band of clouds stretching from the North Sea through the middle of England down to Portugal, and it'll be wet and windy where that covers. Apart from that, cloudy in most western areas, still showers for parts of Turkey and northern Africa, fairly bright and dry though through most of Italy and eastern Spain, so that's a bit of a pointer if you're thinking of getting away from it all for Christmas, having fought my way around the shops today. I can't say I'd blame you if you wanted to get away from it all. Home again now and back to this funny evening. The southwesterly winds will freshen to push the cloud over us into the North Sea. So it'll all be gone by about midnight, uh, but difficult to put times on it. Some patchy rain and drizzle though, but not much in western parts. A mild night, temperatures hitting a minimum before midnight, but lifting through the night. Averaging about 2 to 4 Celsius, not too bad. Still mild tomorrow morning, but some strong southerly winds blowing and maybe patchy rain and drizzle in the west. 
It'll be cloudy everywhere and by mid-afternoon, sort of evening, there could be some fairly heavy, persistent rain in the western half of the region. Nevertheless, top temperatures up to 50 Fahrenheit, but winds turning gale force by the evening. The evening's a bit tricky, actually. The cold front will come through, dragging cold air in behind it. It might get cold enough to turn the rain to snow. It's difficult, though, to say exactly what's going to happen. It depends. all depends on how far the cold air sinks. Saturday looks bright and cold, with winds easing significantly. Quite a change from Friday. Showers in the northern half of the region. Maximum temperatures 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturday Entertainment on Central. The jokes, the mystery, the big film drama. 6.30. Beatles about, but has he gone too far this time? The matter is, the bride here has been having a bit on the side with another man. Oh dear. Who could it be? It's in. <laughs> 7 o'clock, New Columbo with Patrick McGowan and Peter Falk. Mr. Staples was murdered. Problems, problems. And at 5 past 9, the movie premiere, Under Suspicion, starring Liam Neeson in a tense thriller. I think I killed my wife, and then I killed a complete stranger as well. Big movie drama, just part of your Saturday entertainment on Central. A stranger turns on the charm and immediately arouses suspicions at Emmerdale. Next, here on Central.